it's me. Oh, let me fix that. Uh, it's me, West. Just uh, kind of giving you an update. It's it's actually been quite a while since I've done a video. Um, probably over a week or so. Um, and lately, I've been kind of going through some of my old stuff. Uh, you know, pre-surgery, my binders. Um, my Packers, my stand -Ps, my STPs, as they're called, and, um, I kind of want to do a video on some of those good websites that I can trust that I know, um, that I know that will provide quality products to those of us who, who need those, and so, um, <clears throat> I don't... I don't want to, because my family and friends are, are watching these videos, I don't want to provide examples. I'm not going to um, show pictures, which I will in a later video. Um, but for right now, I will just kind of describe my experience with, with those products and, and we'll leave it at that. And then the following video coming up in a few days will actually give examples and show the products and and um, kind of go into more detail, but for right now, this is just kind of a general topic. Um, <laughs> sorry, my guinea pig Oliver is going off. Um, he's not happy about the cat sitting right next to his cage, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> when I was when I was first starting off, um, I'm just gonna pull this over here. Uh, when I was first starting off, I didn't know. I didn't know what I wanted to choose as far as a packer or an STP or if I wanted to just have nothing down there. But my body, my bottom dysphoria was was so great that uh, I felt very uncomfortable just kind of <clears throat> having having nothing there um, until I until I get bottom surgery, and so. I decided at first to try a a packer, which is um, like a sort of prosthetic penis that you can put in your shorts, in your boxers, uh, and that that sort of creates a contour or a bulge. Or um, a lot of a lot of trans men have have used clothes or socks or what have you. Um, the first one I tried was from uh, I think it was the Jimmy. Which which is um, the Jimmy original or number one, and and that was just simply a packer. It was not a stand to pee device, um, and I didn't I didn't find that very comfortable. Uh, it was if you can imagine, sort of like walking around with something between your legs that was pretty foreign. Um, so I continued to search and, and research and, and look into sites and honestly what I found, um, <clears throat> this is probably way more personal than any of you need to know. However, I want, I want you guys to know that I'm comfortable and that I feel comfortable. Um, because I don't think this is something that, that, that should be taboo or, um, Anyway, I, I found what is called um, Peacock Products, P-E-E-C-O-C-K, Peacock Products, and they are based out of Japan, I believe, um, and they they provide some pretty amazing products as far as uh, not just packers, but stand to pee devices, STP, as I will call them in this video, um, and there are actually a few, I have them written down right here. Um, there are a few websites that, that kind of help um, provide either boxers, boxer briefs, support underwear, jock straps, um, and that would be GC2B. That's a great website. Um, they provide some some products that are, are good for trans men uh, that we can wear to hold our STP. There's also Underworks, which I'm not gonna lie. I I bought a binder from Underworks um, before I had top surgery, and and the binder was fine. Don't get me wrong. Um, but what they have to offer, as far as 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 far as STPs and and um, packers and and not quite the greatest. Um, they're not comfortable. They don't hold it in place. It's it falls down your leg. It's going down your jeans. It's it's not good. Not good. 
So um, they also have transguys.com. That's another place where um, I ordered uh, a few pieces of, of clothing and it hasn't been terribly uncomfortable. Um, but I will say I will say peacock.com had had a much better selection and or it was a lot more comfortable. I uh, the one the one thing I will say about peacock.com and peacock products, is that I recently ordered two holders, um, jock straps, boxers, whatever you want to call it, for my STP, and neither one of them showed up. And and Peacock Products, I'm gonna call you out. And I emailed you, I, I called you, I tried to talk to you guys, and and you guys said it's not our fault. It's lost in transit. Um, so they are great products, but I have had a really hard time getting a hold of them. Um, I paid for them. I paid close to probably $70 for, for the two harnesses and, and neither one, one of them have shown up. So just keep that in mind. Uh, great product, but I'm having a hard time getting them here. Um, there's also the free 2 M, um, F R E E. T W or T O M, and that's another good place where you can find your your packers and your and your binders and uh, your STP devices. And um, I also just want to say that I know that I know that this is kind of taboo, and I know that there are people out there who are uncomfortable with this. And and I just have to say, get over it. Like, um. One thing that I found is there's there's a few boxers and or boxer briefs that are super amazing at at holding in place my my STP. Um, one of those is actually the generic Russell brand from Walmart. Um, I hate Walmart, but to give them a shout out, uh, they make a really good long leg boxer brief. Um, underwear to me.com they they do a great job and then um lately what i've heard a lot about is separatech so s e p r a t e c separatech and they sort of keep the keep the balls and the penis separate so that there's a little bit more comfortability and and a lot less sweating and and chafing um I actually reached out to them, and I'm and I'm hoping that they uh, maybe can send me a sample or two, so that those of you here in the Bismarck Mandan area can can kind of get a good review based off of of uh, sort of what I feel from them. Um, and I know I know you guys trust what I have to say, so um, yeah. I mean, um, other than that, I I'm really enjoying. Um, after top surgery, the, the most comfortable sort of tank tops that I found, these are the Glidden or Glidden or tank tops. They're just the generic from Walmart. And if you give me a second, <clears throat> I will kind of give you guys an update on after top surgery. <clears throat> so this is, what are we, November... I don't know, 11th or something, so a month and a week after surgery. Uh, the scars are healing very well. Um, they are completely incorporating to the skin around them. Uh, this is the nipple. As you can see, it's it's gotten back to its original color, sort of, except for maybe a little bit right here, and except for maybe the nipple. But the, the actual nipple itself, it can take up to six months to, to, to sort of go back. So... Um, I'm very happy with that. This side over here, um, everything looks good. Again, the scar, as you can see all the way along here, looks really good. Um, the nipple itself, I'm just waiting for this little spot right here to go back to its regular brown and the rest of it, but no signs of infection. I haven't had any problems with it, with, with infection or, or complications, um, the drain sites, as you can see, have completely healed. So there's my chest uh, going to the side. Um, granted, I haven't... There's the other side. <laughs> there's my snow shovel, because apparently in North Dakota it decided to snow. Um, but anyway, I 
<clears throat> I am not quite able to start working out again. Um, I'm hoping that next week I get cleared to lift some weights and and some of this will will sort of be be filled in with muscle. Um, you know, this is this rippling is supposed to go away, so. There's that. Um, for any of you sort of debating top surgery, just do it. It's, it has completely changed my life. It has changed the way I feel about myself and, and the way I feel about my body. And I, <clears throat> God, my beard is all over the place. Um, I am so much more comfortable going into a situation where I don't have to wear anything and I don't have to wear a binder or um or a bra or anything like that and i i can't even tell you um how amazing it's been for me so uh I, if you know me you you can honestly see how happy i am and how and how much this is this has changed my life so um thank you guys for watching i know this was kind of random and like sort of all over the place um I don't know. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, but next one will be on, um, hopefully, a little bit more in-depth on Packers and STPs and binders. So um, hit me up, by the way. I, I have a ton of of supplies for people who are, are pre-top surgery, and, and I would love to give those out to people who need them, deserve them, can't afford them. So hit me up. All right. Thanks, guys.